Does CJC 1295 Ipamorelin make you tired? This is a great question and in this video I'm going to share with you the reason why not only will they not make you tired, you'll sleep better, so maybe you'll be tired because it's bedtime, buddy. Or actually you'll probably learn that it can give you more restorative sleep, you'll recover faster, it works on BDNF in the brain, so there's a bunch of reasons why this peptide will give you energy. And I'm gonna share with you the one way that it increases energy that shocks people and I'm gonna tell you what to do about that. I'll give you full disclosure, full warning if you never have used this peptide before. So I'm Reagan Archibald, founder of Ageless Future. We've got a phenomenal medical team who's world-class. We focus on hospitality as our core central feature where we wanna build a lifetime relationship with you. These videos, I make them because I want you to have the clear knowledge as to what medical innovations are available today. You don't have to wait for the future of medicine. You don't have to like sit there and watch all these videos on what the future will look like. It's actually here and you can create the future that you want. When you use CJC 1295, you're going to get this flushing effect. Now this is the warning I promised you I'd share. That feels dangerous. It feels like a niacin flush. If you've ever taken high doses of niacin, your face gets red and your heart starts to beat a little faster. CJC 1295 does have this impact on most people. And ipamorelin doesn't have that same impact. When I've used ipamorelin, it doesn't have the same impact. But you do want to be very careful because if your body, if your eosinophils are high and you seem to have a lot of allergic reactions, please talk to a medical professional before you ever try peptides. And ideally, you're only getting peptides from reputable sources, from doctors who've studied peptides, they've mastered the craft, because these peptides are very natural agents that exist in your body, but if they're not used properly, you're not gonna get the benefits. And the real issue is when you're using research use peptides, a lot of these peptides have not been tested. So source them from 503A, 503B, compounding pharmacies. We can help you do that. Go to agethisfuture.com. But generally speaking, if you do have a tendency to have immunogenic responses or your body just seems to be allergic to everything, this one you want, I would just say steer clear of this one. But if you do want to try it, make sure you have Benadryl around just in case. Uh, but CJC 1295, when you inject it, you get massive amounts of energy. Now I've got a whole video on why I take it in the morning because you have to take it in a fasted state. If insulin's present, insulin shuts off growth hormone. So don't do this if you're not in a fasted state. But the reason I started taking it in the morning is because at night I do it in a fasted state before bed, you know, 30 minutes before bed. And all of a sudden I'd just get that energy from the flushing and I'd say, man, I wanna go work out. And then I'd lay down in bed and I'd be like, well, I feel like working out. This is not good. I should be sleeping. And with my active brain, I was like, well, maybe I'll just go work out. And so it didn't bode well. So I started moving it to the morning. It changed everything. Most of you can take it at night. You'll be just fine. But um, the good news is when you take CJC 1295 and ipamorelin, one thing that we found is that growth hormone is a abundantly expressed at night before bed. And it's also expressed after a hard workout. It's also expressed when your body's, when you've been fasting. So you'll get a little more growth hormone in the morning. You're gonna have cortisol in the morning as well, flushing out the inflammation. You're going to have growth hormone, you know, directly after high intensity interval training, you'll see uh, your body emit some growth hormone. Sometimes you get tired, but CJC 1295, generally speaking, if you're tired, when you're using this peptide combination, it's it's because you're not getting good enough sleep. And so I don't know if you use an Aura or a Garmin, I would definitely use some kind of wearable. I know a lot of my clients are like, oh, I'm gonna get cancer from the EMFs. Well, the Bluetooth on these wearables, it emits such a small frequency. And if you have everything on airplane mode, it can still track the data without flooding your body with EMFs. And yes, use a grounding mat, turn off your modem in your house. That these are all things that are really important, but I think having the data is more valuable and the reward of having the data so that you know how to modify your protocols, you know when your body's recovered, far outweighs the risks of that little EMF exposure from a wearable device. So when you're using CJC 1295, 
and you do get tired, go to bed earlier because the growth hormone, when you go to bed, my goal is be asleep by 9.30. Get in bed at 9, you know, lights get dim around 8 o'clock at my house. My wife and I, this is a great chance for us to reconnect, talk about our days, read books, do some other fun things. But then you go to bed and sleep and then give yourself a good eight hours, uh, sleep in a cool environment, make sure the air is circulating. That will be the antidote to tiredness if you get tired on these. If you are sleeping great and you do get tired on these, then you gotta think about your blood sugar. You may not be eating enough, and especially if you are on like a GLP-1, like a trizepatide, semaglutide, my favorite, retitrutide, then you may be in too much of a caloric deficit and you may be getting hypoglycemic. So one thing that's been studied is does CJC-1295, ipamorelin, does this mess with blood sugar? Does it help increase prolactin? And what we found in the studies is it generally doesn't. In some individuals, it could, especially if your body has, if you have a lot of psychological stress and you're fasting for periods of time longer than about, uh, you know, a 16 hour eating window, that can start to cause what's called gluconeogenesis, where your liver starts breaking down proteins in your muscles so that you have sugar in your blood. So consider those two things if your energy is not great when you're using CJC and ipamorelin. So consider your sleep patterns and consider the blood sugar. Really important to be getting the proteins you need. Ideally, you do your CJC. If you're like me, do it in the morning. You get that nice little rush of energy. You go and crush your workout and you use that little flushing response as an energy catalyst. And then your energy is going to be so much better because you'll sleep deeper at night. And there's a lot of evidence that shows that growth hormone does help induce uh, deep sleep or delta uh, sleep waves. Most of the time, you want to be getting about an hour and a half to two hours of deep sleep. And you'll find that that deep sleep occurs between like you know, 10 and midnight. So it's a really good reason when you go to dinner, if you ever go to dinner with my wife and I, you probably are like, why did they make reservations at like 5.30? Well, I wanna have time to talk to you and connect, but I also wanna have time where I can get my beauty sleep because the next day I wanna crush it, just like you do. So CJC 1295, Ipamorelin, does it make you tired? Absolutely not. The thing that's making you tired is the fact that you're not getting the restorative sleep and the fact that you probably have some blood sugar dysregulation. How can you uncover that before you even take CJC, ipamorelin to make sure that you don't have those issues? Well, if you have a trackable, wearable device, then you can track your sleep patterns. But one of the most important things is get your blood work done. And the blood work will show you your anion gap. We'll look at CO2. We'll see if there's any kind of metabolic disturbances from fasting insulin, hemoglobin A1C, C-peptide, LDH. But then the thing you will also look at is we'll see if allergy response is elevated, which this would be kind of a risky peptide to use if things are elevated, like your eosinophils. So get your blood labs ran before you venture into any of these peptide molecules so that you can get pointed in the right direction. So if you love this video, you wanna go deeper, make sure you subscribe. But I've also got a video that shows you the reason why you wanna take this in the morning and I go into greater detail. I'll provide a link in the show notes. I'll see you in the next video.